the decision to build the plane was probably, you know, I, I mean, I have, I make a lot of stupid decisions, but that was probably one of the big ones, you know, <laughs> it was, uh, you know, that and that and starting this whole bloody project. But, um, you know, I mean, it, it was crazy. I mean, it was a crazy idea. It was, a, it was a, you know, I mean, you just, you know, what on earth says in your mind, you know, that you can build this plane in that time frame. Eight weeks doesn't seem like a long time, but 24 hours a day, seven days a week, being unsure of whether you can finish the project, I think that was the biggest hurdle. I think that was the biggest hurdle. I think that was the biggest hurdle for everybody on the team. I think Damien especially, I think he had more more to lose than probably any of us. I mean, we, we all came in, in a way, on the back of an idea, on the back, on the back of an idea, on the back of a concept, to, to build a replica of the Lady Southern Cross. Maintaining somebody else's idea, even for what might seem like only eight weeks, is quite a time. Building the replica of the Lady Southern Cross came about from, you know, wanting to do something for the 75th anniversary. And, you know, I'd worked for about 12 months on putting together an expedition for the families and, and for the people involved in this project to come to Myanmar, uh, to be at the location of the Lady Southern Cross on the 75th anniversary, and to be in Burma. Uh, you know, where these men lost their lives and, and commemorate that day there. And, and, you know, about eight weeks out from the 75th anniversary, you know, we had everything in place. We had the permissions from the government of the Union of Myanmar. We had uh, the support of so many people and, uh, you know, the involvement of everyone. We had unprecedented access to broadcast uh, from Myanmar and you know literally eight weeks out uh, you know I was still about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars short of making that expedition possible and you know I just could not you know raise the money get the support or get that expedition to happen and you know, at that point, the, the decision had to be made and the decision was that we were just not going to get there. And it was as simple as that. Dame is extremely driven with his projects and, and you probably shouldn't get involved with them or in them uh, unless you're going to be uh, punished somewhat. <laughs> but I think that he's... Motivation uh, is, 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 is well founded. It, it is, um, I don't know how to describe it, but it's, uh, it's driven from the heart, not from the hip pocket. I don't think that, uh, well, certainly nobody else in this country has ever undertaken a project like this. The 75th anniversary for, for the six years that I've been working on this project was you know, that, that critical deadline, that, that day, that one day uh, where all of this work was going to be brought together. And, uh, you, you know, it was, it was devastating not to achieve anything for that day, that one day that you've been working so hard toward. And, you know, <laughs> the intention was always there to build a replica. The intention was there to do the flight with Charles Jr. and the, the intention was there to, uh, you know, bring all of this history to life and, and build the plane for the, the purposes of the films and the documentaries and, and you know, to, to use it in, in, in aiding us in, in better understanding this history and better understanding the circumstances surrounding the disappearance of, of Kingsford Smith and, and Tommy Petherbridge. And, you know, I guess when the 75th anniversary commemorative expedition, uh, you know, failed, 
you know, or when I failed, I guess, to, to bring that together and, and to make that happen. You know, we were, you know, you just left with nothing, you know, and, and the 75th anniversary was a day for me that, you know, that there was nowhere on this earth that I could hide from that day. And if we didn't do something, you know, to remember these men on that anniversary uh, and didn't do something for the families uh, on that anniversary, then, you know, you know, you get to that moment where you just don't know if you can even live with yourself uh, if you fail. And, uh, you know, it was really, you know, Jeremy who turned around and said, you know, let's, let's build the plane. Let's build the plane and, and you know, let's, let's do something. Let's do something with the family. Don't just watch history. Be a part of it. Become a history maker. Historymaker.net.au